Welcome to Kid Crew. The school bus is waiting in the bus garage. The day's almost over, so the bus driver is loading up to pick up the kids. First, turn on the lights. He needs to make sure everything works before leaving. It's really cold today, so this is extra important. Looks good. Then get in. Close the door. Turn on the engine and go. The ground is frozen, so it makes for a really bumpy ride. Meanwhile, Dad is giving the last lesson at school. Okay, that's the end of the school day. The bus will be here soon to pick you up. Awesome. Grab your backpack and run for the bus. Bye, see you tomorrow. The school bus is heading down the hill and over the snow. I hope these icy conditions don't provide a problem, but let's face it, they will. Great, here comes the bus. Pull up to the school. Then fold out the stop sign, open the doors, and always make eye contact. Come on. Hello. Hi. It's a tight squeeze with these winter coats. Now, what's the best seat? I always like sitting in the back. It's so bumpy back there. There's a good one. You ready to go? Yeah. Then turn off the lights, fold in the sign, and start heading home. Now he needs to drive over this snow and ice. Build up some speed. But the bus is losing speed. And it's stuck. The snow isn't deep, but it's slick, and the bus is really heavy. Looks like we're stuck. He says that like he's happy about it. Time to get out and inspect this situation. Let's focus on the tires. They get right to digging, but they don't have any tools. Well, how about this huge stick? Then get back to work. Get free it. Great teamwork. Then jack up the back with the lever to place another stick under. Then hammer time. With the hammering stick. I'm gonna get a hammer one. Okay, it's a nice and fat one. The sticks help keep the tires out of the hole they dug. Let's do the same on the other side and inspect. That looks good. Let's add the salt. Luckily, the bus driver was carrying salt. Open the emergency exit and grab that heavy bag. The salt will melt the ice and snow. Those bags weigh 50 pounds. So slide it across the ground as a team. Grab the salt and pack it around the back tires to improve traction. That looks great. Then put the salt back onto the bus. There. And close the emergency exit. They're about ready to try it. Can you drive an old bus? Yeah. It's an unconventional move to have a student drive a bus, but this is a pretty unconventional school. He gets ready to drive while he gets ready to push. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Go! Well, that didn't work. It's not going. I should just get my snowmobile. The kid's snowmobile is back at the bus garage, but it's sitting on grass, not snow. And it looks like it's having maintenance done, but it does have a spot for a strap. Inspect the engine. Looks good. Then close the hood. Put on the helmet. Turn on the key. Attach the safety lanyard. And start it. Great. Wait, so can it drive on grass? I guess so. But take it slow. It steers a lot different than when it's on snow. Then go down the hill and start navigating to the bus. The snowmobile really hits its stride once it hits that ice and snow. He's already there. Turn off the snowmobile and grab the tow strap. I think we'll be able to pull it out with the snowmobile. Can I keep driving? So sure, I need you to. Then put the strap around the bus axle and hitch the other end to the snowmobile. It's all hitched. Then jump on. Let's try. Ready? Yeah. It did it. 
snowmobile is pulling the heavy bus through the snow and ice. I can't believe how strong it is. I'm sure all the salting and digging they did helped too. Turn it off. It worked. Yeah, my snowmobile is powerful. Unhook the straps and store them under the seat. Who knows when we'll need them next. Then finally pull up to the drop off. It's been a long day. Here's my stop. Get off the bus. Well, this trip certainly was an adventure. Hi, Mom, I'm home. Now here's how you can play along at home. You can make your own ice sheet to play on like this. Okay, okay, um, I'm getting a little dizzy. We started with a baking sheet. Then put it in the freezer empty. Next, a measuring cup. There's less of a risk of a huge spill this way. Then fill the baking sheet. Remember that water expands as it freezes, so you're not gonna wanna fill it to the tippy top. We let it freeze overnight. Well, it's definitely frozen now. Let's grab some remote control cars to play with. We'll try this tiny green race car and this truck. Let's grab that one first. Turn it on, test the steering, squeeze the controller, and go. The truck's grippy mud tires can't grab the ice, so it slides with authority. I hope it doesn't fly off. Somehow it's staying in control. Now let's try that tiny race car. It can do it too. Let's not forget the Hot Wheels, which quickly became a crash fest. Boom. There's a lot of stuff to try on the ice. This one might actually will manage better because it's rubble tiles. Oh. And don't forget to maintain it. Now let's learn how it works. This is how ice works. Do you guys want to know my least favorite weather in the world? It's this. About freezing and raining. And that means there might be ice on the road and sidewalks. Ice can be a lot more slippery than snow, so you have to be really careful. Sometimes you can't see ice when it's on a surface. Let's see if there's some ice on this slide. There is! Look at all the ice! That's why you gotta be really careful if you think that there could be some ice around. You might not be able to see it. Ice can also provide a huge challenge to trees and power lines because the built up ice can be really heavy. Ice can provide a big hazard to drivers, so that's why people put down salt. The salt melts the ice. Oh, you're prying the whole truck up. Now, more salt over here. Oh, to get it under? Oh. Ah! Good job. It broke the stick. Yeah, it did. Guys, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, three, two, one, go. It's clear, that's as clear as it gets. It's not. What I'm trying to do is trying to lift. I see there's a problem. There's a wood chip there. You're trying to lift it with a lever? Yeah. Okay, push, push. The boys really loved the problem solving of getting the bus unstuck. I need something stronger. Uh, to be clear, we crashed off the ice sheet a lot. Ah, oh, there it goes. I can stick my finger under that ice. This, it's, it froze on the top. Certain it members of the family couldn't the stop messing with oh, yeah. the ice while it froze. Okay. Can you try to pop the bubble with the... Butter knife. I don't think. Yeah, that'll definitely work. But. Wait, but I think we should just not mess with it. There we go. They got the bubble out. Okay. You know what? What? Our backyard doesn't drain well, so we get these big frozen puddles. They make for a slippery fun time. <laughs> Thank you for watching Kig Brew. Please like and subscribe.